hello i'm sean thank you for watching subscribe for all kinds of different videos including a tour around my garden two years ago we moved to this house and kind of inherited this huge garden and we moved from a really tiny terraced house which didn't have a garden to just a huge plot now you're gonna have to excuse the weeds but i'm going to take you around and show you what i've grown this year including prize winning french beans over here we have some autumn fruiting raspberries these grow much bigger than normal raspberries. Look at that. Obviously one of the joys is you get to eat them as you go around. Along here we have, pe we have peas growing all along this row. And on the other side of here are sugar snap peas. But let's get this one open for you. Trick to opening peas. Pop at the end. And then just slide along. It's quite hard with one hand. Look at those beauties. Gorgeous. This side we have sugar snap peas and monge too. You can see they're just growing really thin as monge too do. Down here we have the broad beans. These won third prize in the local show. Again, you can tell if they're ready by squeezing them. Those feel ready to me. And again, you can freeze them and blanch them if you want to keep them for longer. And my favorite thing about broad beans is all the fluffiness inside the shell. You see how lovely and fluffy that is inside there. Down here behind this broad bean that's fallen over, we have some beetroot. Nice size, not too big, not too small. We'll boil that up and eat it for our lunch. We also have carrots growing. I'm not sure they're quite ready. You can pull it and see. Oh, that was ready. Nice carrot. A bit muddy. Now down here, we have, these are dwarf French beans, but the French beans themselves aren't small, just the plants. These are the French beans which won in the local horticultural show. You can see how they all grow. And on the other side, these have got a bit big. These are purple teepee French beans, which exactly the same. And actually when you put, when you chop them up and boil them, the color changes to green. We also have red onions. normal white onions. These are our runner beans. I think we've planted them a bit late this year but you can see they're still coming and probably all throughout September we're going to have lots of lovely runner beans. Right welcome to the greenhouse. Wow it's hot in here. Oh my goodness. Okay we need to water stuff because it is very, very hot today, and look, all my poor cucumber plants look like they need a drink. So down here, there's a very bendy cucumber, but a cucumber nonetheless. Probably pick that this evening, because I reckon it just needs a little bit longer. Got some tomatoes growing here, and up here, we have some cherry tomatoes too. This year I've also grown sweet peas in the greenhouse. They didn't work as quite as well as I thought they would. Okay, over here. This is a pumpkin plant. These all look really similar. They have similar leaves, but this one is a pumpkin. No pumpkins yet. But I'm sure it won't be long. This one is a courgette plant. And I just, oh, there's one courgette down there with its beautiful flower on the end. This next one, although again it looks the same, is hopefully going to be a butternut squash. But can you see, they all seem to get to like this size and that size and then not grow anymore. Which is a bit frustrating. Over here we have bush marrows. Can you see them down there? That bright yellow. And again, these don't seem to be growing very big. Okay, then we have three um, sweet corn plants. One, two, three, all growing one sweet corn at the moment. 
and another three over here there's again all growing just the one sweet corn this one is probably the closest to being ready again you have to squeeze it it's not quite ready yet above my head is a beautiful red sunflower that the children grew down here we have another courgette plant with a nice courgette coming there right at the end of the greenhouse we have some little peppers growing two green peppers and I hope yep two more on that plant as well so this is my little greenhouse and this is probably where I've grown I don't know if it's the most stuff but it's certainly where I've grown a lot of the stuff this year I'll leave it oh oh that's better this is what happens to asparagus when it grows it turns into kind of trees I hope you've enjoyed this if you have give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more like this then leave a comment below and let me know also leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite vegetable is that i am growing and do you know if i could send vegetables through the post i would totally send you them because i have way too much Whew, yes i'm gonna go inside and have something cold now see you soon all right bye